This movie is about bouncing the movie, which is how you marry your soundtrack to the movie. I think the process of scoring is different than producing a song, because in scoring, you're creating and adjusting the composition and the levels as you work. And when you get to the end of the movie, I don't think you generally have a lot of cleanup to do. So I still need to watch my overall level with the master fader and my internal levels, make sure nothing is clipping. And once I've set that, I can go File, and instead of bouncing to disk, I'm going to bounce to QuickTime Movie. If I want to just make an audio file, like any other audio file we've seen so far, I would just bounce to disk. This time I want to marry it back to the movie. Where does the audio come from? It comes from what we're listening to, 1 and 2. The file type will be WAV. The format will be interleave. The only other option is to merge the left and right together into a mono file with no spatial information. Probably don't want that. So we'll do 24 and 48 as our bit depth and sample rate. I like the concept of importing the movie after the bounce. This is optional. You can add to your iTunes library. This is very handy if you're doing a lot of scoring and a client calls and asks for samples and you have everything in your iTunes library, you can compile a playlist and send it to them fairly easily. So do you want to include the video to this QuickTime Bounce? Chances are you do, but it gives you the choice if you don't. Remember that I resized my movie. It's actually going to come back the same as the source file in terms of size and frame rate, aspect ratio, and so forth. So where do I want it? I'll put it in the Importing a Movie Bounced Files folder. And I do have the option now to do an offline bounce. So I'll go ahead and do that. We're done. Let me hide Pro Tools for a second. Let me look inside the bounced files. There's my QuickTime movie, 488 megs. So I'm in good shape there. Let me jump back to Pro Tools. We've now imported a movie, set markers, built the soundtrack for it and married our soundtrack back to the movie. So now you can send it off for approval or post it on your website or YouTube or wherever these things go.